I'm Andrea Houston for Extra, and I'm at the corner of Church and Wellesley. I want to get your feedback on the proposal of having a queer-centric school in Toronto. I think it sounds great, and I think it would really fit in with the Toronto area, too. I just think the integration is better than segregation. So um, to have a school that's just centered for, 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 for queer, or, or it would just keep the people uh, closed off and, and, and segregated. I think it's a good idea to begin with. Uh, I think we have to be careful not to narrow the focus too much because I think students need, really need a well-rounded education, especially if they're going on to university. So they have to be prepared for university. So as long as the university prep's included, I think that's uh, a good idea to start with. I know people that would go and they would like it there. Um, I think it's a really good idea. I think anything that can offer more diversity into uh, the education of our youth would be uh, greatly beneficial to them and maybe curb a lot of things like bullying and stuff like that. Because it's a very limited format, only to that school, we're not really dealing with an issue of bullying, right? It should be a course in every school where everybody's educated about it just like we are about sexual aid or everything else, right? There's a sex class. Talk about it. Let people know. So that way, that's how we deal with, you know, homophobia and people yeah. not being educated. Right? School is great, but it's only one school. Predominantly, who's going to go there? Gay people. Um, one thing that people are, are, are raising alarm bells on in the, uh, is the idea that, well, we already have the Triangle Program, which is crisis intervention. Okay. Which um, is totally different from education. Totally. Absolutely. Um, this, uh, perhaps, maybe the idea would be better, or the resources would be better used by peppering queer uh, information, queer history, throughout the curriculum. Um, throughout the curriculum as opposed to having one school, one safe space? Well, when you talk about through the curriculum, it's like through all the schools, I would say you're, you're getting instructors who may or may not be friendly to the idea. So it's like, and even educated, it's like, do they understand? It's like, what was Stonewall? What was that process? What was the process of ACT UP? And why was that important for the community in that process? And I think you've got to have instructors that are really acutely aware of the meaning behind that and maybe have personal experiences to bring and so the instructors would be allowed to be out as well they wouldn't necessarily have to be straight or gay they could be out yes. and I think that process really helps and the students who are struggling with their own sexuality it's like it allows that expression to exist and it's in the city so we're not really helping kids from those small towns where we're it's more predominant in that case because the small towns are where people are more enclosed and their mind are not that open to certain things so it will be more be, much better if you open it to a wider range of people and not just in city youths it has to start somewhere i believe but like as long as it's not a school just for queer people like i think that would be probably a a problem at some point because then you're you're segregating people again and I don't know as long as it's a, it's a school for everyone and they just learn about issues about queer people I think that's a great idea